Our firm uh, specializes in marketing and public relations for franchise type companies. In fact, my career in marketing and PR actually began with, uh, began with one of the largest franchisors in the world, a company at the time called Sendant, which is a variety of different brands in the real estate and hospitality markets. And we represent a number of organizations now that are franchise type companies. But probably the most important thing about marketing for a franchise type company is that you need to understand that outside of the home base of that business, those individual franchises sometimes are viewed as outside companies. I'll use Rotorooter as an example. Uh, their world headquarters are in Cincinnati, Ohio, so virtually any activity that they do uh, financially or business-wise is of interest to local Cincinnati media. However, if you're looking at, say, a franchise in Dallas or Cleveland, they're not viewed necessarily as a local Cleveland company. They would find a local plumber, for instance. So it's very difficult to, you know, pitch from a media relations standpoint these types of stories. So the most important thing that you can do outside of the home office DMA is make sure that you've got a consistent social media, advertising, marketing, and public relations program in place. You want to utilize advertising and certain buys to actually allow you to earn additional local media relations. You want to have lots of events be part of the community. Community relations are critical. Consistency is key. You need to pay close attention to what the individual franchises are doing. You don't want your individual franchises spending inordinate amounts of time on marketing activities because most likely that's non-core to the business. If you're a plumber or a pizza maker or an auto dealer, uh, your job is to make pizza, not market the selling of pizza. So utilize the home office and the marketing tools that invariably you as a franchisee bought into. If you are a franchisor, you want to make sure that you're working with an expert such as someone from the Eisen Agency that's able to template these pieces out, make it as easy as possible to keep it consistent uh, throughout the entire enterprise. You want to monitor that closely so you don't have rogue folks going out and all of a sudden you know your McDonald's arches are green and making sure that you're sharing a consistent message, but understanding that as a franchisee in a different DMA than the home headquarters, unless you're doing something truly of national importance, you need to utilize those individual DMAs from a much more well-rounded marketing mix to help each piece play off of one another.